Good evening everyone, I'm back making another video for the um, jailbreaking of a fire stick. I only say jailbreaking because that's what 80% of the population that's going to be doing this is going to refer to it as. In reality, a fire stick is an Android device which is open source which allows you to sideload applications which is what we are doing with Kodi. So, first... Of course, we're going to need to download the software we need, so we're going to head over to Kodi.tv slash downloads. The first little section right here is going to be the beta section. We'll just skip that because we don't want to mess with that. We're going to be using Kodi 16.1. We're going to go to the Android section. We're going to install ARM. I already have it installed. It's the only reason why I'm not going to click it and download it. it saves me time in the video. So that's the one we're going to want. Sorry, that's the one we're going to want. ARM. Next, we're going to come over to jokala.com. It's where we're going to get ADB Fire, now referred to as ADB Link. I also have this. This is um, a program that's going to allow us to access the Fire Stick and sideload the programs that we need. So, we have Jarvis right here, and we have the ADB Fire right here. We've already had this installed as well. So I think I just said that. ADV link, sorry about that. You're not gonna have to do that. Once you install it, it should just automatically pop up. Okay, here we are. So, we're back here. So here is ADB Fire. This is a program we are gonna be using to sideload the application. So what we're going to need to do from here is have our Fire Stick already connected to the Wi-Fi. Same Wi-Fi that our computer is connected to. That is very important. So we are going to come over here to System, About. We're going to scroll down to Network. Notice that there are four different types of IP addresses here, or at least addresses, not necessarily IP addresses. We are going to be looking for the IP address of the specific device. Each device in your house is going to be assigned a different one. So mine right now is 192.168.1.11. So I'm going to come over to Kodi or ADB Fire and just put it in the description, put whatever you want. The address 192.168.1.11 is where we're going to be connecting to. So Click connect, so you see connected device. We are now connected to my Fire Stick. So I'm gonna simply come over here, install APK. That's the file that we downloaded from Kodi. Um, I'm gonna simply install, open this. It's gonna install APKs, yes. You're not gonna really see any change on your Fire Stick right away um, because the process does take a second to install the program. So once you do, have that open or have it installed, it's going to pop up and populate in your applications folder, which is down in settings. And then you're going to go down to manage and install the applications. After you do it the first time, it should pop up on the very top under your frequent apps. If it doesn't, I mean, it will eventually as long as your, so if your software is up to date on the Fire Stick. I'm using the fire.tv app it makes it a lot easier for typing once you're installing the build which i will show you to do after this or how to do after this sorry it's been a long day but i got some negative reviews but i'll take them as just basic critique points but they wanted me to do a voice commentary I wasn't feeling too hot the first time i tried to demonstrate this so yeah, so Fire TV, it makes it a lot easier to type because you're not having to click with the individual buttons to each letter, which kind of gets annoying when you're typing in a 30 character URL for the build. So, I'm just letting this install right now. It should be done soon. Typically that bar doesn't actually get all the way filled up.
some of you are wondering why I don't have my videos looking like the other people. I just, I simply think that if I'm going to be demonstrating a fire TV or a fire stick, uh, Cody installation, I should be showing you from an actual fire stick and not Cody on my laptop. So, as you can see, ABKs are installed. See log for details. On the screen, you can see Cody ready to launch. So, let's launch that. Cool, so now that we have this up, we are technically sideloaded. So, that's how you install Kodi on your device. Now, if you wanna stick around, I'm gonna sideload, or I'm gonna load a build onto my device really quick. I didn't really research any, any builds, but because this is a fresh install. I had just got finished making a video about another um, build that I ended up not liking, but I just was demonstrating how to do this. So I typically just look through these videos, just check them out a little bit, see if it's something I like. Okay, so let's just go to the one we know. So Spartan, let's do, uh, oh, I'm completely blanking. Okay, you know what, we'll just go to this one. I'm completely blanking on that other one. So, I don't really care to watch their video, but this is Mick Changa. Thank you for having your video available for me to Get the source for this build because that's all I really need. Okay, so now that we have a source, we're going to go over to system settings. My apologies, just going to click on system. System settings. Oh, yeah. Okay, systems file manager. Didn't tell me the charm. Add source. So, this is where it comes in handy to have the Fire TV app. So, make sure to include everything in the URL that you're typing into these because it's very specific. It's needed. If you don't, you are going to have a failed connection to the repo like I just did I just typed that in improperly so a backslash there done I don't care about the name you're not gonna have a million on here so oh man okay just press canceled so, HTTP, spins, TV, repo, dot, com, slash. Okay, there we go. No, oh my, I am sorry guys. And ladies, can't discriminate. You know what I mean though. It has been a long day. Spins TV repo dot um, slash. Okay, so we have that in there. Let's just assign a random name. I'm gonna go ahead and go down to OK. I don't know why that kept defaulting to cancel. That's kind of aggravating. So we're gonna head over to system settings. Now we're gonna be settings. Install from repository. So that's why we need to make 
install from zip file, my apologies. So we need to make sure that the sources we're typing in are correct because that's where it's gonna pull from. So obviously this one says fire users, click here, we're gonna install their wizard. So it's gonna take a second or two. It's gonna pop up on the right corner that it has been installed. So if it doesn't pop up with like a build menu or something like that, where you're gonna to head to is programs, program add-ons, and it's gonna be demonstrated or displayed here. I'm sorry. So as you see at the bottom right, Spins TV Fire Stick Wizard. This one didn't have a, a build menu that popped up. So it's gonna open this up. And there are quite a few on here. So typically build menus have a few of them on here. That, so you have you have options. What is the what is the difference? Spins TV Premium Light. Second download. A second download on. I'm not sure what that's about, but we're just gonna download this. They don't have a horrible server. Download not complete. It's going to extract and install the build. So the re you don't necessarily have to install a build with your Fire Stick. I personally, or any code app application for that matter, but I just personally like to install it because they come preloaded with a ton of add-ons. So you're not supposed, to, you're not having to go through and add them all yourself. Um, you, if you don't want to, and you just want to get like a few add-ons, sports level stuff like that, you can. You just have to add the add-ons. That's it's that simple. I just like the I just like the look. I like the I just like to have it look nice. Have the stuff already there for me. I don't it's it's easy. Now, if you guys would like to just use this one, I'll demonstrate what it looks like for a few seconds after it's installed. But, like I said, you just gotta look around. There are a ton of developers constantly making new things, and it's hard for people like me to keep on top of those because I find a build I like. I typically stick with it. I'm, the only reason I'm really doing these videos right now is because I'm trying to update my uh, Cody on all my fire sticks in my house. So once you find a build and you stick with it, it's, or you like it, you kind of just stick with it. So I'll link a few builds that I personally have, have liked in the comments below, as long as uh, the links for the downloads of Cody and ADB fire. But it all comes down to personal preference. Do you want the add-ons or do you want a build that looks nice? Some of them look cartoony like this one kind of looks not too sure it's we'll see right now so after it's done installing it's going to force close cody here let, let me show you so cody should populate your recents up here now that it's been run about twice that looks nice So on here you have your movies, TV shows, music, programs, system, my add-ons. I'm, I'm assuming this is the specific ones that you like. Pro sports, entertainment, kids, IP, TV, movies, background. So who knows, I may stick with this one. I kind of like the looks of it. Um, and I use Specto add-on as impactful to do. 
Sure. That happens every once in a while. It's it's no big deal. So, I mean, I personally use Specto for all of my TV shows and movie watching, but stream all the sources. This is this looks like a good build. If this was your first time doing this, I would definitely recommend it, this build. My apologies. Um, I noticed the time isn't right. You just gotta mess with it. Uh, I'm sure it's gonna be somewhere in here in the system, but. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope it helped. You can always ask me questions. Um, I hope you guys have a good night. Peace out. Have a good, I guess not Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays.